Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. Every week coming into your life to do three things. Multiply your life and your money and your business. And for over a decade, I spent as a high school women's basketball coach. And really, my ultimate goal was to teach uh, life through sport. So we taught all kinds of unique principles to enter engineer kids to win, how to help them have confidence, bounce back, how to handle rejection, how to work well in the context of group, how to find their talents. In essence, we created little monster producers, right? These little legendary creatures that can buy multiple skills to dominate a market. You know, I've got a big coaching program, Monster Producer, and people are always asking me, will you work with kids? Will you do something with kids? Well, today, I'm gonna show you how to build confidence, bounce back, handle rejection, and how to get your kids ready to produce at the highest levels possible. Because let's face it, it's a competitive world. We believe everybody needs a coach in life. So tune in. You're watching Super Coach, and I'm Coach Michael Burke. Hey guys, this is Coach Michael Burke. I am so glad you joined me for Super Coach. I believe a good coach can change your life. I believe a good coach will have conversations with you you don't want to have. Make you do some things you don't want to do. Help you become something you didn't think you could become. You see, you can't see the picture when you're inside the frame. You can't reach your own potential without the help of another person helping you break through those ceilings of success. I'm Coach Michael Bird, and I'm going to find the kryptonite in your life, and I'm going to do it on this show, Super Coach. Hey guys, welcome back, Super Coach. Every week, multiplying life, money, business. Big shout out. I see all the people watching out there, the big kahuna. Big kahuna, I saw somebody today that said, man, you just serviced them. Jim Youngblood, I believe who it was, from the Sims team. I spoke to their team this morning and said, you did a fantastic job. That's big aloha. Just call aloha.com, the big kahuna out there servicing people and their heating and cooling needs. And you're going to need the big kahuna as the summer gets hot and you need a heating and cooling company. He takes boring things and makes them simple, makes them interesting, makes them engaging. So Big Kahuna just wants you to know, just call aloha.com. You got a big fan out there. And Jim Youngblood, who's out there promoting you, man, he was telling me about you this morning. Good, good to see James Jarrett. Man, I hate I missed you in Phoenix, Arizona. Calicia Dow Simmons, one of my favorite players of all time. Phil Griffin, Brandy Renfrey. Good to see everybody out today. Man, I got a great topic for you. Tonight at the Greatness Factory, I'm actually teaching a concept called Raising a monster. And people all the time, because of my background and, and experience of being a high school women's basketball coach, are always asking me, when are you going to do something for kids, man? When are you going to do something for kids? Well, tonight at the Greatness Factory at 5 p.m., I am doing something for kids. It's free. It's open to the public. I will be doing it online. Just go to coachburk.com backslash live, 5 to 6 p.m., and I'm going to be talking raising a monster. Because here's what I would tell you. We are living in a, in a highly competitive, saturated, global market. I know from going to school for nine years to college, X number of years, is that the kind of things we're teaching in Monster Producer, the kind of things we're teaching are not being taught almost in any school setting. Now, what's interesting is my daughter goes to Montessori school. They do yoga, meditation, breathing, they do all kinds of things. Here's what I want to know. When are you going to teach her how to sell? When are you going to teach her how to articulate her value? When are you going to teach her how to bounce back when she gets knocked down? When are you going to teach her confidence, which is an internal knowing that you can create or manifest something? What kind of success academies are we going to be teaching? Because let me tell you something. You get out in the world and you can't sell yourself. You can't sell a product or service. You can't get bounce back when you get knocked down. What's going to happen to you, I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how high your IQ is. If your EQ is low, if your social quotient is low, if your confidence quotient is low, if your spiritual quotient is low, you're not going to bounce back. So in today's show, I'm going to talk to all the parents out there. And I'm really not saying this from a perspective that I'm, a, I'm an unbelievable parent. I try to be the best parent I can be uh, to our daughter, Ella Grace. But, but listen, I fail a lot. Okay, there's, there's days that I don't have energy. I don't give my daughter what she deserves. But, but listen, when I'm with her, I'm trying to teach her things. L last week, we were talking about profit. She's four years old. And I said, if you had a lemonade stand at the Greatness Factory, and it cost you a dollar to make the lemonade, and you sold it for $2, what's the profit? 
She said three dollars. I'm like, no, 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 no. Because now she understands math a little bit. I said, well, the profit is the difference between what it costs you to make and what you charge. There's a margin there. And we went over it four or five times, all right? And then I would ask her again, if you work at the greatness factory and you had a lemonade stand and it costs you a dollar to be a dollar to make the lemonade and you sold it for two dollars, how much money did you make? One dollar, Daddy. That's how much money I made. Now, four years old, I'm trying to implant these things in error. You see. I didn't learn business principles till I was 30, 31 years old. I didn't understand the difference between assets and liabilities. I didn't understand how money worked. I didn't understand how to sell. It was all instinctual to me. I did have this raw uh, instinct to go get it. And that was from watching my mother work the way she did, from seeing her work multiple jobs. I, I did have that. But what I didn't have were business lessons. What I didn't have was maybe how do I how do I build, maintain, and protect confidence. So what we're going to cover in today's show is is maybe three topics I'm going to cover tonight. One is confidence. How do you help your young people build, maintain, and protect their confidence? If you got kids, trust me, a confident person can try and do anything. An insecure person will never sell to strangers. Will never walk into a crowded room and meet people. They will always contract and retreat. They will never go for their dreams because they could do what? They could fail. And the insecurity consumes them. The lack of confidence consumes them. So I wrote down on a napkin one day in, my, in the locker room a confident young person that has been instilled with this trait of confidence by watching another confident person will go and try anything. An insecure person won't try anything. So you drastically limit your success when you're insecure. Well, most kids are insecure. Right, Jason Lee Gully, Kerry Latham, Amanda Lawson. You know, mo most kids out there, they don't have confidence. And you know why? It's never been taught to them. So today's show, I'm going to show you how to do that. you got to break it down to where it's a science. Input, output. Okay? Second thing I want to talk about is rejection. How to teach young kids how to handle rejection. Because, listen, I remember the very first kiss I ever got on the bus. Jack, I know this is a PG show. You're talking about raising a monster, Jason Lee Gully. Carrie Latham. I remember the first kiss I ever got. Y'all remember that? I had an eighth grade girl named Jennifer. Jennifer walked back to the back of the bus when I was in, I think, fourth or fifth grade. and Give me a big old kiss on the cheek, man. I'll never forget that first kiss. But I also remember feeling rejected many times. I was a little kid, a little scrawny kid. I remember, uh, bullying. I remember being, I remember being picked on as a kid. I remember all kinds of things as a kid. And so I felt rejected a lot of times. Maybe that's driven me to have the success I've had today. I don't know. But how do you handle rejection? Well, I wish someone when I was a kid would have taught me how to handle rejection, how to see rejection. So I'm going to teach you, teach you that today on the show. And the final piece is how to help your kids find their voice in life. How to help them find their talent. You know, the Bible talks about the parable of the talents. No classes in school. This, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. There is no class in school that helps young people find their talents. I went to college for nine years, guys. I didn't have one class in how to find my talents, how to package it, how to sell it, how to distribute it, how to market it, how to push it to the world, how to share it. And so those are the three things I'm going to be covering tonight at the Greatness Factory. I'm going to give you a sneak peek right now. Let me give you some kryptonite, and then I'm going to get into confidence after the break. Here's your first kryptonite. IQ won't get it. IQ, let, let me tell you something. Just because you're the smartest kid in class don't mean you got don't mean you got social skills, don't mean you got emotional quotient, don't mean you got desire, don't mean you got confidence, don't mean you can get back up when you've been knocked down. Just because you got IQ doesn't mean you got the whole package. I look at body, mind, heart, spirit. Knowledge, skill, desire, confidence. What good is it to have skill with no desire? What good is it to be to be incredibly knowledgeable and be lazy? What good is it to have skill with no confidence? Or confidence with no skill. So you got to go after the whole person. And most school systems are not set up to do this. They're only growing one part of a kid's nature and measuring one part, and that's IQ. If you really want to build little monsters, little people who can go out there and do something big in the world, you got to go to work on all four parts of their nature. Their body, physical. Their mind, mental. Their heart, emotional. And their spirit, their faith their belief in a higher power, their confidence. That's what we got to go to work on. I'm Coach Michael Burt. Come on back in segment two. We're going to break down confidence to where it's a, it's a science. I'm helping you raise a monster today. Come on back in segment two.
Hey, this is Coach Michael Burt, and have you ever been to a retreat where you got to get away from the pressure of the world and just talk business, talk ideas, but also mix business with pleasure? You see, a few weeks ago, I spent time in Seaside, Florida with some of my good friends, and man, I had so many breakthroughs. I was able to reinvent, reimagine my business, and I said, I have got to create a way for people to come together and go on a retreat with me. So we've developed a super retreat with a super coach, September 23rd through the 26th, or September 27th through the 30th, Seaside, Florida. Four days with me and other like-minded people. We'll mastermind in the morning, we'll spend time by the pool drinking margaritas and having fun in the afternoon and going to dinner with each other at night. $2,500 investment that includes your lodging and the mastermind and your lunches. And then we spend the rest of the time working on your business. Now here's the deal, I can only take 10 people at each of these nice big houses. Everybody gets their own bedroom. That $2,500 includes two people. If you'd like to bring a friend or your spouse, Come to Seaside with me in September and go on a super retreat with the Super Coach. And I promise you, you'll have the big ideas you needed and the refreshment you needed to finish the year strong. Welcome back, Super Coach. Ever Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Yes. Today Tuesday? Today Thursday? Oh, wait, today Thursday. Today's Thursday, isn't it? <laughs> Man, I've been on a heck of a trip. Malibu, California. Anaheim, California, L.A., Phoenix, Arizona, Knoxville, Tennessee, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and in Nashville today with the DeSilms team. What a great experience with those guys. Top real estate company in Nashville. And then the Christy Wilson group, Christy Wilson team, the Wilson team there in Nashville. Unbelievable. And then finished up with Jason Leonard of Superior Build and his company. Tonight, 5 p.m., Raising a Monster. Serious value, free to you. Kids can watch it, you can watch it, you can come to the Greatness Factory. And what we're going to be covering is how to raise a monster in today's world. Peter O'Neill, my man, how do you raise a monster? Success school for kids. Listen, one of these days, it's not too far down the road, I'm going to build a Greatness Factory for kids. I own the rights to the concept Greatness Factory for kids. We're building a new Greatness Factory here. I'm in talks with other people about franchising Greatness Factories all over the world. And one of the things I want to teach kids so badly is what I taught them as a high school coach. Okay? And what I really taught them is how to be confident. So I want to break confidence down for you. If you're going to raise a monster, a person, and I mean a monster in a good way. I know a lot of people say that kid's a little monster. That means he's, that means he's not a good kid, right? He's a good kid. He just hadn't found what he needs or been equipped to go be successful. He's a good kid. We're not inherently bad kids. We're all born geniuses until the world beats it out of us. You understand what I'm saying? That kid hadn't found his talent. Most of the most successful people in the world, ADHD, they've been labeled. They've been marked off as bad kids. They get little or no attention. They end up in, you know, drugs or trouble. But here's what they don't have. They don't have a good coach. What if that person had a great coach? And if they had a great coach, they would teach them this. Confidence is the one thing that affects everything. So you got to teach your kids that just like they learn science, say, say confidence is a science. It is, an, it is the memory of success. It is an internal knowing that you can create or manifest what you see in your mind. Okay? And it happens through consistent, ongoing, systematic repetition. It happens through long obedience in the same direction. A lot of people say, well, get them a little bitty win. Get them a little win. I do want to get them a little win. But let me tell you where I've seen the kids grow their confidence. Consistent, ongoing, systematic practice. Right, Nathan Horn? Chris Garrett? Good to see your kids coming. Peter O'Neill? Good to see everybody sharing this on the stream with you. Listen, your kids are not going to wake up confident. They may. It may be in their DNA. It may be in their genetics. But what if they see you be confident every day? See, I see parents that are not confident. It's hard for them to give away what they don't possess. I can't give my daughter swag if I ain't got any. I can't give my daughter knowledge if I don't have any. I can't give her skill. She's got to get it from somebody who has it. I may need to pay a coach to give it to her. Okay? And so confidence is the one thing that affects everything. You can build it. Okay? Here's what I'd say. You can build it through ongoing, systematic practice. You can protect it by understanding what erodes it. The opinion of other people erodes it. Okay? Uh, consistent failure erodes it. Not practicing enough erodes it. Okay? I can erode confidence in another person when they don't practice enough, they're not prepared, they're not ready, 
okay? And I'm just chipping away being negative toward him every day. I actually think an adult can break a kid's confidence. But, but my goal as a high school basketball coach is to teach my, ki my, my kids so much confidence that nobody could take it away from them. So what is it? Internal knowing. Where do I get the internal knowing I can create or manifest? All things envisioned in the mind. Okay? Everything's created twice, first mentally, then physically. Confident kids take it and go do something with it. So what I start doing is I give little lessons to, to my kids on confidence. Hey, I notice you're low on confidence. Why is that? Well, you hadn't had any success. Because you hadn't had any success, guess what? You don't feel confident. Because you're not feeling confident, you won't try. Because you won't try, you consistently fail. What about sitting down every night and having a conversation with your kids about what's the biggest thing you failed at today? Wouldn't that be a good one? Because I failed a lot today. And I won a lot today. I had some big failures and I had some big success. I want to tell my daughter, it's okay to fail. It's okay. to You, you, you only fail when you try, sweetheart. You only fail when you get in the arena. It ain't the critic that matters. What matters is the person in the arena making effort. I don't care if you felt huge. At least she gave effort. My wife came to me this morning. She said, you know, I just don't know if our daughter wants to go to gymnastics and do that. I said, of course she don't. She's only four years old. She don't know what she wants to do. You put her in gymnastics and you let her get around other successful people and we get her with a great coach. Who's coaching your kid matters. So, so one thing you got to instill in your kids is you got to constantly work on their confidence. You got to constantly, you got to give it to them. You got to feed it into them. You got to build it, maintain it. You got to protect it. You got to build it. You got to maintain it. You got to protect it. And once they lose it, you got to help them get it back. You got to help them get it back. And the way you help them get it back is you put them in positions to keep going. Get back up when you get knocked down. Get Fail through it. Fail forward. Keep pushing. So you got to start seeing confidence as a memory of success. But if they hadn't had any success, and you got to have these regular conversations, okay? What about rejection? Is rejection tied to confidence? What if I told you there is no such thing as rejection? What if you taught your kids this? What if I learned, hey, they're not rejecting you. When other kids don't want to play with you, the natural inborn thought is we're getting rejected. Hey, so, some will, some won't, so what? Some people will be interested in what you have. Some people won't be interested in what you got. So what? What if you taught your kids that at four, five, six years old? See, we have an only child, and I notice sometimes that my, child, my daughter is very friendly. She goes up and tries to play with other kids, but sometimes those kids don't want to play with her. And I can see naturally in her that it hurts her feelings. She's like, is something wrong with me? You know, why do you not want to play with me? I want to play with you. Well, I got I to gotta embed in my daughter, look, not everybody's going to want to play with you. I tried to sell today to real estate agents. Some bought, some didn't. So what? See, see, I didn't learn this until I was 40 years old, 38 years old, is that I'm only looking for people who are looking for me. I'm not trying to, to align with all 7 billion people on the planet. You are not rejecting me when you say something negative about me on my YouTube channel. You're not rejecting me when you write something bad about me. It says more about you than it does about me. You know, when I see a person... That, that hates on another person online, you know what I said? I just block them. You know why? I ain't got time. I, and it wasn't even about me. They were hating on somebody else. I'm like, I don't want a person, I don't want a toxic person like that. You know, mama taught me if I can say something nice, not say something at all. I can di disagree with you, but not hate on you in public. You understand what I'm saying? So when I see people acting like that, I'm out. I cancel them. I ain't got time for you to treat another human like that. They got problems. They got struggles. But you're not rejecting me. Okay, you're saying more about you than you are about me. Well, what if you learn this as a, as a child? What class do they teach that in, by the way? What class do they teach you how to handle rejection, that there is no such thing as rejection? What class do they teach you how to get back up and say, hey, you may not have wanted some of this, but somebody else does. Seven billion people. I'm only looking for people looking for me. When I come back in the final segments, I'm going to talk about talent. What class do you have in talent, guys? Peter O'Neill. Alicia Pegg, Shane Ray, the big kahuna, Bill Maddox. What, what class do they have in finding your talents? Because I'm coaching adults every day. Nine out of ten don't know what they're selling. They don't know they're selling a unique skill set to solve a problem in the world. They don't even get that, man. They're just out there selling a commodity. What you're selling is what you got. And if you don't know what you got, you can't sell it. Let me give you some kryptonite. Kryptonite right here. Don't think, don't think about today. Don't think about today. Brandy Russell, 
you can't think about today. Well, we got to think about where will this kid be ten years from now? Where you know, you, you know, where will this person be ten years from now if they get these things planted in them early? What, where will they be in the future? And that's a big question we got to constantly think about. Don't see don't see kids where they are today. You say today they're fake. Don't see them where they are today. See them where they could be ten years from now. You're watching Super Coach. I got one more segment on talent. Come on back. Five o'clock today. I'm teaching at the Greatness Factory. My name is Coach Michael Burt, and I have a very basic premise. I believe everybody needs a coach in life. Every single week I come to you, multiply your life and your money and your business. It's about seeing something through to its logical conclusion. It's about going from a little baby star to a big star and practicing and getting better and digging in and fighting through. I see work as the distribution channel for your God-given talents. How many people believe behind every great number one is a great number two? I wrote that little book called Changing Lives Through Coaching because I believe what? A good coach can change your life. Welcome back, Super Coach. Every week, I come into your life and bring you a podcast, vodcast, all kinds of videos. If you're not in my online academy, go to TotalGrowthAcademy.com. Thank you to all the people who are on there. Guess what? It won't work unless you work it. But it will work if you work it. So thank you for watching Total Growth Academy, which is my online 24 hours a day interactive platform. Okay, if you're interested in becoming a monster producer, if you're interested in, in becoming a monster producer, go to monsterproducer.com. Get in the class, 115 people in there, growing every day, 30 to 40 people a month. Get in and let's dominate together. Because I'm going to teach you confidence, bounce back, how to handle rejection, how to sell yourself. So my question for you is what class do they teach in school on how to bounce back once you've been knocked down? How do they teach you how to fight through your feelings when you don't feel like showing up today? How do they teach you where to prospect? How do they teach you where to articulate? Here's a question. Where do they teach you how to find your talents? Okay, here's what I believe, okay? And I'm going to end the show on this one. Until a kid finds his or her voice, his or her talents... I believe talents are God-given, not man-given. I can teach you skill, but I can't give you talent. So until I uncover my birthday gifts that were given to me at birth by the manufacturer, you were factory installed by the manufacturer with certain gifts. But what if you never find them? What if you never uncover them? What if you never unlock them? What if you go through school in a very monotonous or static state and one day you get a job that you hate? 67% of people say they hate their job, by the way. And you know why? Ain't the school system's fault. It's our fault for not helping people find their voice. And it's adults' fault for not digging in and finding their talents. So what's the best thing I can do for our four-year-old daughters? I can help her find her talents. And the way I do that is by exposing her to different things putting her in different scenarios, seeing what works, what doesn't work, watching, observing, finding her abilities. So what is talent? Talent is at the intersection of curiosity. What am I curious about? What do I love doing? That's passion. What am I good at doing? And how can I do it in the world on a larger stage? How can I take my talent and help more people? Because at the end of the day, why did God give you those talents? For one reason, multiply them. And if you study the Bible, it talks about in Matthew, a demonstrated capacity. Once you show a demonstrated capacity to use your talents, guess what you get? More. To whom much is given, much is expected. But, but they take it away from one and give it to the one that's using it. Well, what if you never use it? Well, you can't use it until you find it. So it's very important to help your kid, kids find their talents, their voice, their passion, their interest. They're not going to teach it in schools. Most teachers, I remember we were trying to teach the seven habits of highly affected people at, 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 at Riverdale when I was coaching there. 
Seven, now pay attention to this. Seven habits of very successful people. And one of the teachers mocked me. And he said, I ain't teaching this garbage. That ain't my, it ain't my job as a teacher to teach these kids how to be successful. It's my job to teach history. Who cares if they know history if they can't be successful? That same person had probably had no social intelligence. Probably was successful, but maybe not successful as he or she could have been. All because they didn't see it as their role to teach kids how to be successful. Could he have been a great teacher? Absolutely. Great teacher teaching subject matter. But what good is it to have knowledge with no, with no desire? What good is it to have all the knowledge in the world if you can't get back up when you've been smacked around in the face a few times? So it was like, man, I, I don't know why you would try to get me to teach these kids how to be successful. That's not my, whose job is it? Whose job is it then? Well, you say, well, it's their parents. What if their parents are not equipped? What if their parents have never been coached? What if their parents are unenlightened? What if their parents have never been exposed to this stuff? So at some point, we got to quit pointing fingers. It don't matter whose job it is. At the end of the day, we got to equip people to be successful later in life. And I think that's really what we talked about today. So help your kids find their talent. You know what will happen? The confidence will go up. Passion will go up. Skill set will go up. Fire and energy will go up. Everything will go to freakish high levels. And that lazy kid will come alive. That dormant faculty and talent will come alive. It will all come alive when you help them find their voice in life. Kryptonite, let me give you some. If you can't give it to them, find somebody who can. It's big. I can't give everything to my daughter. There's things I ain't got to give her. That's just the truth. There's things I'm bad at. Can't fix a car. Can't cook. Geographically illiterate. I can't, I can't teach my daughter those things. What I can give her is some of my contagious confidence. What I can give her is business savvy. What I can give her is bounce back. I'm going to give her what I can give her, and if I can't, I'm going to find somebody who can. Who's coaching your kids is just as important as who the President of the United States is. Guys, I'm Coach Michael Bird. If you're stumbling on this video, you don't know me. Okay, I call myself the Super Coach, a unique blend of a former championship coach. I worked with kids for 15 years as a high school women's basketball coach, elementary coach, transition into the business world, coaching business people today. I got a big program called Monster Producer, monsterproducer.com. I want to coach you. And let, let me tell you something. We're building our greatness factory for kids. I want to bring these concepts because your kids are going to have to sell. They're going to have to articulate. They're going to have to bounce back. They're going to have to overcome rejection. They're going to have to get up in the morning, get themselves dressed, and show up and grow up and deliver. So if not you, then who? If not now, then when? Go to CoachBurt.com. Come on back every week to multiply life, money, and business. I'm Coach Michael Burt. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Have you ever had cotton candy? Tastes good for a second, and then it all goes away. Well, that's what you got when you came and heard me speak. It tasted good. It tasted real good, didn't it? You liked it. You were interested. And you know what I reminded you of? Your potential. That kinetic energy that's stored inside of you that's waiting to come out. But you know what you know? You don't have a coach in your life. See, I can't really do the work I need to in you until you commit to a coaching program. You see, I define coaching as a set of systematic and consistent behaviors that allows you to do something tomorrow you cannot do today. You got the confidence, you got the energy, you got the swag, but what you don't have are the systems and the structures and the accountability, and that's what my coaching program will provide for you. You need to be in Monster Producer. Monthly coaching, live or online. We send you the replay the very next week. You get a condensed version in the third week. Mastermind in the fourth, fourth week. Accountability sessions every single week. Every monster I'm coaching is averaging 43% increase or more. Why are you not in the program? You see, that day I reminded you what a good coach can do for you. Now it's time for you to take action. I can't help you until you commit. Will you sign up for Monster Producer? I know Bill Maddox has been working you. Now it's time for me to work you. Commit to your potential. I'm Coach Michael Burton, and I will see you in Monster Producer.